Uh, my son says I'm no rocket surgeon, so bear with my question here. And this is uh, <laughs> probably something you could have answered when you were age three, but it says, uh, many churches teach that man has only been on earth uh, for 25,000 years, and that's the age of the earth, and that's what the Bible says. So just how old is the earth, mankind, and dinosaurs in the Bible? Okay. How old is the earth, mankind, and dinosaurs? And does it take a rocket surgeon to know? No, it doesn't. <laughs> uh, planet Earth, uh, 4.566 billion years, plus or minus 0 .002 billion. So it's now known to four places of the decimal. And uh, that's done through uh, radiometric dating and done through several independent lines. Uh, dinosaurs uh, show up for the first time uh, after the Permian uh, catastrophe, a gigantic asteroid hit the Earth 251 million years ago and actually turned the planet, uh, well, you have about 20 feet of lava uh, covering the planet because this thing just set up all kinds of uh, volcanic events. And that wiped out 95% of all species of life on planet Earth. But very soon thereafter, the planet is repopulated uh, with millions of new species of life, including the first dinosaurs, the Triassic dinosaurs. The Triassic dinosaurs persisted until about 220 million years ago, and they were wiped out by five small asteroids, well, not that small, each several miles in diameter, uh, hitting the Earth, and that again wiped out about two-thirds of all species of life on planet Earth. But in this case, we know that the second generation of dinosaurs, the Jurassic dinosaurs, replaced all the extinct Triassic dinosaurs in less than 10,000 years. There's a little mud line we can find in the geological record that we know could not have been deposited in any more than 10,000 years. And then the Jurassic dinosaurs likewise get wiped out by an extraterrestrial collision event, replaced by the Cretaceous dinosaurs, and most people in the audience realize that a, a, a meteor or an asteroid that hit the Yucatan Peninsula 65 million years ago, wiped out the last of the dinosaurs, and then afterwards, again, we have millions of species of life. Uh, we have a lot of uh, birds and uh, mammals uh, replacing these Cretaceous dinosaurs, and there again, we can document that the mass speciation event occurred less than 10,000 years after the mass extinction event. If I were to quote Psalm 104, all life dies off but God recreates. He replaces the species of life that die off with new species of life. And there's a good reason why. I told you earlier, the Earth rotates more and more slowly because of the moon. So when life was first created on planet Earth, it was like five hours a day. Now it's 24 hours a day. Uh, the sun became 15% dimmer, and over the past three billion years, it's gotten 15% brighter. That means that certain life forms that are appropriate half a billion years ago would not be appropriate today. Therefore, God removes species of life that are no longer fit for the planet because of the changing conditions and replaces them with new species of life that are fit for the changing conditions. Meanwhile, all those previous species of life pile up a tremendous body of resources in the crust of the earth, coal, oil, natural gas, sand, uh, carbonates, uh, limestone, and this is all the stuff we use to support civilization and technology. So thanks to these 3.8 billion years of life before us, we can not only exist as uh, Stone Age peoples, uh, we can launch modern civilization and technology. And if you read the Bible carefully, uh, you'll figure out why God wanted us to develop civilization and technology as part of his plan.